today we're going to be learning on how to crop your video in Sony Vegas. So here on my timeline I have my image and I want to select this little button called event pan slash crop. Click it and then you see this little window pops up. Over here you have your uh, list of properties and settings for this specific video track and on this uh, side of the window you have your uh, image and you have a little dash line all around the image along with the little circle. Uh, if you hover your cursor over at one point of the image you'll see this little icon pops up. Click it and drag inward if you want to zoom in on your video or click outward if you want to reduce the size of the video. Over here, if you drag your cursor over the, between the um, image and the circle, this little rotation tool pops up. Again, click it and drag it left to right. And then this will um, rotate your image. Of course, if you want to restore the original settings of your image, just right click it and press restore. So over here on the left side of the window, you have a list of properties and workspaces. Uh, these are the same as what we did earlier, is dragging in or out. And then you see here the number changes. You can also change the size of the image over here instead of doing it on a workspace. If you want a more precise uh, image resize. And over here we have the rotation. Again, same thing as the above setting. And then, as you can see here on the video preview screen, there are black um, bars on the side of the screen. This is because the image here isn't the exact video resolution as I have right now, which is in 720 or HD 720. You can fix that by right clicking and clicking match output aspect. Click it and this will zoom in enough so that the black bars between the video it will disappear. Also if you want to uh, flip your image Go to right click and over here we have flip horizontal, flip vertical. Um, flip horizontal will of course obviously flip it horizontally while flip vertical will uh, basically kind of uh, put the image in upside down. So click it, there you go, flip horizontally, click it, there you go. So that's it's for about cropping. That's basically all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else besides uh, if you want to kind of put the crop in motion. So for example, I go to this little track here in the crop window. Uh, drag the cursor over on the video track wherever I want. Double click and then don't move this, just make sure it's on the point. And then maybe I want to kind of make sure it kind of rotates in or out. And what this, this will do, this will kind of automate all keyframes between this point and the end point so that the crop will kind of be in motion. So if you look here on the preview screen, you see the image sort of moves. So again, this is basically all you need to do on cropping your video. Uh, so uh, comment or rate and subscribe my videos, and I'll see you guys next time.